It is 318 here on KHCS. I didn't even know we had something like this. You know, it's it's COVID-19. It's everybody scrambling and struggling when it comes to hosting events. But this is the space made for the pandemic era. It's nestled on three acres of land just off the 14 in Aguadulce Canyon. It is Coyote Creek Locations. And joining me on the line right now, it's the owner of the space, Missy Obrasa. Missy, are you there on the line? <laughs> I certainly am. How are you? I'm doing well. Did I nail did I nail the pronunciation? Well, with a little flair, you did. Cool. Yes. <laughs> Do you not have the flair normally? No. Oh. It's just Obreza. Okay. Obreza, okay. Obreza, but you have such a fancy last name, I get it. Thank so. you. I appreciate it. I roll the R's anytime I, I I can. Not everybody can roll their R's, so why not flaunt it if you I, got it? You know what I, I mean? I hear that. Yeah, yes. Thank you. So when did you decide to transform your space into an event venue? Well, it's kind of, I've kind of been doing events the whole time, but nothing, nothing like it is now in that I feel like our community needs, like you were saying earlier, space to kind of stretch out, breathe some fresh air and have some fun outdoors. Um, Everything's outdoors these days anyways. And listen, where in Los Angeles can you get up to three acres of manicured landscape to have fun that's fenced that has all kinds of nooks and crannies for different age groups i don't know i just feel like i love it so i wanted to share it with people i know i hear acre and i just assume that it's just a vast lot of land you have three of them so it's a big space i i want to talk about the space itself i mean it's it's not just an empty lot it, it actually on the website uh coyotecreeklocations.com it kind of looks like a, a little old western town tell me tell me a bit about the aesthetic and the appeal of coyote creek <laughs> Well, it has, um, I don't know about an old Western town, but there definitely is, it's definitely rural and rustic yeah. and there's room, elbow room to kind of just have fun and run and relax and spread out. But we do have, you know, kind of a kid's area, like a playground. We have ping pong, we have tetherball. We also have for the more grown ups. we have a putting green and you can do like, a, use it like as a driving range to drive your balls up the hill. We have a saloon in the back, which, you know, kick back and just have, you know, a, a glass of, you know, lemonade. Mm-hmm. Or we adult have, lemonade. you know, um, a, a could be adult lemonade. We have a fire pit, you know, exterior lights for the evening times. It's just fun. It's just um, kind of created it that way, kind of like a park setting, but more intimate so people could feel comfortable just being in the space. Yeah. So what kind of events do you guys specialize in? Everything. 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 Weddings, um, memorials, um, quinceañeras, um, birthday parties, picnics, kids' parties. Whatever your heart desires, essentially. Exactly. exactly. Um, We are making sure to maintain social distancing and, you know, COVID-compliant rules. So that is a part of this. We have to be safe while we're out there. Right. Um, and I will also be at every event. I guess I'm kind of a control freak, but I, I want to make sure that the event is happy and fun and safe for everyone. So say I wanted to have an outdoor movie night. I have like 50 people who want to come distanced, of course. Would you guys help with <laughs> distanced? Of course. It's the caveat that you have to add on everything now. Yes, we do. We do. We have to be socially distant. But yes, I mean, we we can absolutely accommodate that. I have a lot of experience doing events, so this will be right up my alley. Would you guys um, help? We're going to with... try to keep it G-rated. Oh, okay. Hopefully G-rated. There are neighbors, <laughs> right? Yeah. There are neighbors, but everybody's pretty friendly. Yeah. Everyone's would you guys help with like the screen and the projector setup, or would I have to kind of arrange those things on my own? We could we could talk about your capabilities. Okay. Darren. <laughs> Very limited in that in, in most. Uh, realms we have so. people that will help your people let's put it that way awesome so why the name coyote creek are there a lot of coyotes there in the area i know coyotes don't pose that big of a problem but i'm a pretty slight dude and and i think you know two coyotes could take me so what's with the name coyote creek where does that come from we just thought it was kind of fun you know there's definitely um a roaring creek in the back when it rains and, um, you know, the water comes down off those Acton Mountains, and it's a beautiful creek with rocks, and it's, it's fenced, and it's just, um, it just seemed to kind of fit. I mean, we live in an area where there's a lot of active life out there, which is the appeal, I think, to Alco mm-hmm. say. But um, no one needs to be afraid of anything. Um, I'm a girl, and <laughs> I can manage, so I know there's no threat of anything. Awesome. There's no threat of anything. Out there. It's just kind of a fun name. How about at night? What is what does it look like when when the when the when the sun is going down and night descends upon Agua Dulce Canyon? You know, in in Los Angeles, 
everything's kind of marred by the city light, but I imagine out in Aguadulce, off the 14 freeway, just off the freeway, you can basically see all the stars at night. You know, and I want to tell you something quickly. I know we're on the air, but my granddaughter was out a few weeks ago, and she's only five, and she we were doing s'mores at our barbecue pit, at our, you know, our live fire pit. And she says, Grammy, she goes, what are all those? She looks up in the sky. I go, they're those stars. She goes, we don't have those at my house. <laughs> I said, Where does she I live? She lives in Agora, Agora Hills. See, that's but, I mean, not that like far away. Said, every, it just lit up, though. I mean, everything is... Everything is lit up with the city lights. And so out in Aquadolce, you have the pleasure of seeing natural light. Um, my property, Coyote Creek, we have it pretty well lit because I don't like the super, super dark. But um, you can certainly see the stars in the sky. You, I, I guess I need to get better at my stargazing. Um, we do actually have a telescope out there. So we could actually look for certain big dippers, little dippers, and all that good stuff. But um, it's really um, – I didn't, I didn't grow up in this area, and I got to tell you, I love it. I love it. It's just nice to be able to hear the natural sounds of the area, breathe the fresh air, and see the natural skylight. Love is, it. Is there any event off limits? Like, say if I wanted to have a concert at your place, would that be a no-go? I think as the, the city starts to open up a little bit more, more opportunities will present themselves. The space can accommodate a concert, I will tell you that. But sure, I think yeah. that right sure. now I need to be careful of the number of people that are at the location. But, I mean, I can fit like 50 cars on the property, so and there is a space for a stage. So that's not off the table, but I just – um, I think it's like on a case by case basis, but I would look forward to that. That would be super fun. Yeah, super that would be cool. awesome. Coyote Creek locations in Aguadulce, California, encompasses three acres, and it's perfect for you know weddings or birthday parties, corporate events, holiday events, uh, filming even. I, have you guys had any filming? I know that Santa Clarita is a hot in the area. For... There's, there's there's filming all the time in the yeah. area. Aguadulce is known for that. Um, there's movie filming going on all the time, not at my particular location. Um, I'm sure that's going to be happening soon. But um, just to the right of me, across from me, and to the left of me, they're filming all over the place. Awesome. It's, uh, it's, it's fun. Yeah. It's a short drive from whether you're coming from Antelope Valley or right here in the Santa Cruz Valley. It's really the perfect event and venue to host any event, especially during you know Rona season. You can call them today, get some more information. It's filling up fast, so you got to get on it soon. 1 800 470 3758. That is 1 800. I'm glad you guys have a 1 800 number. That's, that makes it easy. It's 1 800 470 3758. You can also go to coyotecreeklocations.com. Coyotecreeklocations.com. Missy Obreza. No Thank roll you. of the R's this time. Thank you so much for coming Love on. It. And uh, best of luck to you and Coyote Creek in the future. Thank you for having me. Of Have course. a good rest of your show. You too. It is 326. Okay. Time for a quick break. More music and a live look at traffic coming up.